Okay, welcome to this small tutorial about cycles and uh, vertex colors. Uh, so here's a little model and we are going to start and run cycles. You can see it's just one color. So one classic thing that you could do is uh, like get another color. Let's say, I don't know, it's a girl, so it's something pinky. You get them both, ah, doesn't work. What you can do is mix a shader, but now how you're gonna say which one is uh, which part so okay it's just a bit messy but it's half pink half white so what we can do is actually use uh, vertex colors so you just uh, go in uh, vertex uh, paint mode and now once you start to to paint uh, we can give it um, let's say i don't know let's first make something like ugly uh, so how are you going to get this uh, data. So the easiest way is to add uh, attribute input node and in this case you can use uh, different maps I think it's UV maps also but you can also in this case use vertex colors. You see each vertex color map has a name so you just have to type this one call and now you can use this as a factor and you can see it's already getting either pink or white and you can start to paint the white and the pink you can of course also do it in live in the cycles viewport so that you get some uh, nicer results uh, maybe you can also like just uh, make everything black and maybe it's better to do something if you would do a realistic thing is something like this Oh, by the way, because it's uh, it's nodes, you can do whatever you want. So instead of having just pink and white, you can say, for instance, it's a glossy one. So uh, in this case, we want the white one to be the glossy. So completely glossy. And now I can start to paint the glossiness of our model in nearly real time inside of cycles fun isn't it oh there's something that i made uh, i read this in a somewhere online so that you get a faster uh, result it's to change the minimum tiles by default it's 60 and it kind of gives you this you see ugly black big uh, squares and if you just put it 1024 i think you just get a nicer result maybe a bit slower but at least you see everything that you want to see. So that's it. That's like a very small five minutes tutorial about something. I hope you learned something and see you later.